Oh, doesn't quite manage it. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see as, as well. Oh, yeah, hang on top. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, they're going to oh. get... Oh, <laughs> no tail! An earlier earn could be really useful. Whatever he decides to go for. And this top lane, like, it, it's fine for mid one and no tail early on in the first few waves. But when Venno starts to go a few more levels, you know, the lane starts to get a, a lot more difficult. First look. Oh, But so far, so good for OG. Not, not that things are going horribly right now for Viking. No. As they look over, No-Tail Spectral Dagger comes in. The Tombstone committed. Now No-Tail low. He'll end up falling. Aramis gets the kill there. Sunstrike onto Aramis. Not going to land. However, they'll still get this kill. Soxa, he gets critted for the kill on Aramis, and it's a one-for-one -one trade oh, so far. Oh, didn't. But mid one, taking a lot of damage, as is Soxa. And that'll force mid one to TP back home. As said, now bottom dies to Solari. So they get two kills here for Viking. Two big kills there for him. Even back on this game. Yeah, I thought Toby up in the top lane would try and actually ward block the line in the trees. But oh no, it's Korea. Like, he did TP back to base on mid one. And then, yeah. They're going to go for Toby. Venomous Scale did hit on a Sox, so they get the kill onto the line, but there is the Sun Strike landing on Toby. So now they've got the kill on a Venomancer. Toby, well, his life may not be in vain as Boom comes over, lands the Doom on a mid one. The chase is there, this is and really this bad. should be a return kill to the side of Viking. Yeah, he has no TP for like 12 seconds when he's up as well, and he has no haunt, so he's going to have to sit in base for a few more seconds as well. Let's on things we're getting a little dicey there for a second i was actually looking at mid one's net worth and he is very far behind shad on the jug he just did not farm that well up towards top yeah normally we see this uh spectacle Ooh, over mid minus. inkswell gets popped tops in trouble he'll end up dying to a ramus no time attempting the rotation but there's the soul bind two are locked up doom gets committed onto lion so well Sata, he'll he be might forced be to retreat there. he might die spectral dagger thrown at boom how far are you going to commit for this one because now the soul is no longer there they've got the shockwave rp committed boom will die they don't lose Saxa, and this is a bit too far for viking a bit too much of a commitment from line with the battery salt yeah boom tp's in as well actually but they're not able to find anything else Toby doing a really good job of just trying to keep this mid tier one alive as long as possible. They're dropping these certain. Are they going to try and fight this? They've got the tornado into the EMP, so Aramis without any mana left over. The healing war comes in, and there's the Soulbind on the two. Skewer forward, but it's really not on anybody too awesome. close. Aramis ends up dead. They will cover Solari. They could get themselves two kills at least. And they will. Soulbind got committed, so did the Doom, but Viking, they fail to evacuate the situation quickly enough and you did have Blink Look Dagger queued up. By the way. The mid one with the Empower. It's a lot of gold in the bank, but still just under 3k away from catching up to Shad. No tail with the Omni Slash bouncing around. There's the Haunt coming from the back. Solarian's in trouble as he gets it with the Cold Snap as well as the Deafening Blast. Solarian's up dead. It's going to be one gone from the side of Viking. Boom and Shad need to run, but there's the RP on a multiple heroes. The Sunstrike comes through. They get the kill to Toby, and now they will go for the rest. Thompson goes down, ends up falling. Decay from No Tail continuing to try and support his team. Mid one getting low as well. He needs to be careful with the Spectral Dagger being thrown at Shad. They'll start to retreat on the side of OG. They'll TP out No Tail. They'll get the stun on a one, but there's the Blade Fury from Shad. They catch up the Soxa. Aramis now fighting Seb. Skewer on a two, but Seb gets low and he'll end up falling. Soxa with the finger to kill Aramis before he dies. And it's a three for two in the favor of Viking. Yeah, that fight looked really good at first because they. Like, it's yeah. difficult for them to find like clean catches because Sax is not close to anything. I mean, he has Aether Lens, but like, it's not reliable, right? When you're playing up against this drug, you need the instant initiation with the Hex. They're looking to go in, and yeah, they're going to go in with Sox up with the hook shot, but there's Spectral Dagger coming through from mid one. Struck a fade as well as the Chaos Meteor going down from top. So we keep using Popeye Boom. Now they'll use the Haunt. Infernal Blade Two hits, and they'll get the kill on the as well as the Ramus. They'll buy back on the Grimstroke. They've used the Poison Nova, but Toby in a little bit of trouble as the Decay comes in from No Tail, and mid one trying to fight this Venomancer. Sox so low as well as the Mute out onto Seb on this Magnus. Boom, though, he's in trouble. No longer has the BKB. That's on cooldown for another 50 seconds. The Ink's all placed on the Grimstroke, but he's on the run with everybody here for the side of OG, they'll get the kill, take out Solari for a second time, and OG come out victorious after that engagement and smoke right away. 
Yeah, these fights really aren't clean from Viking. Like, they're also struggling to find these, like, initiations, right? Because they managed to get the Doom onto Seb, but Thompson just stands there and right-clicks the Doom with Alacrity on. And because Doom doesn't have a huge amount of armor, he actually just has to run away. So, like, even though Seb's completely taken out the fight, they really struggled to find any pickoffs. Ooh, RP comes through. There's the Cataclysm. But with the Stuart's going to miss, they've got themselves the Army Slash as well as the Hookshot coming through, but it's not going to be enough just yet. They'll take out No Tail. No Tail buys back immediately. They'll get the kill on the boom. So now without that Doom, they're in a little bit of trouble. He's gone for 52 seconds. Shad, he's already used that Omni Slash. So how much is he really worth in this engagement? But with mid one as well as Seb down, below, they're going to be forced to TP back. And now it might be an opportunity for Viking to finish off this Roche. No Tail and Sox is still sitting here. It may not be that easy. Thompson's yeah. also come over. Oh, oh, No Tail gets bashed up by Roche. I mean, they, they understand that they, they can kind of like fake this out though. So now the Tombstone's gone down and they're not really achieving anything from this on OG. It's, it's actually not bad for Viking. They need to wait for this Doom to be back up again. Like he's their big um, like team fighter at the moment, it feels like. Thompson's getting a little bit low on mana here as well. Need one. Moving forward, has that Manta. Trying to go after Toby. There's the Meteor drop down, and Toby just gets blown up. But, like, what's this Soulbind, right? Like, there's no Doom up. They, they have no play. You just have to let the Veno die, and now you don't have Soulbind up for your... Oh, gee, it's not exactly the easiest uh, to just grab this Roche. They need to position themselves around Rocky the pitch to make sure this second. hook shot. And Rock Flare comes in with the Aegis picked up by mid one. They look over Shad. Shad's in a lot of trouble. The skewer is out, but there's the Blade Fury. He won't survive. He has gone for 53 seconds. No buyback. And Seb continuing to move forward with the rest of OG as they march towards the Viking side. They'll try to CP Aramis out. But he stops the TP. Poison Nova committed. Sunstrike won't hit. The skewer is there from Seb. They'll get the kill into Toby and look over at the clockwork to try and finish off a third hook shot. On a set, but it won't matter. They've got the finger and mid one there for a double kill. OG grabbed the Aegis and kind of grounded them in this game. It's allowed mid one to really get back into it, that's for sure. Oh, they find Thompson though. This would be a massive kill if they can get it. Yeah, they've got the Doom out on them. Battery Salt as well as the Cog, so try to run, but the Infernal Blade is there. They'll get the kill into this Invoker. Five times free going the way of Boom. Oh, they missed the even though. some more. Tombstone down, Soulbind's there, boom. Doesn't have Doom, he's already used it on the Invoker. They're Massive gonna continue with the well, that's a two-man stun. No tail in trouble, as is said, the BKB's been committed by Boom. They've got themselves the Guardian Greaves being popped by Seven, so Spectral Dagger flies him from mid one. He'll try to help out. No tail's gone, neither of those heroes have a buyback on the side of OG. Mid one, he wants to fight, but I'm not sure this is he the fight ages. that he wants to take. He does Ooh. have the Aegis, the RP's committed on a three, Seb! Can he turn this around inside of OG? I just don't think they have the damage. They look over at Solaria, they get themselves the kill on the Grinstroke. That's at least one, but they end up losing the Magnus. Poison over committed. Mid one now needs to run. The Spirit Vessel's on him. Aramis and Toby are chasing. Venomous kills are thrown out. They've got themselves Shad, and that's the first life gone from this Spectre. But nobody is here to help him. The rest of the team is gone. Mid one now, haunting, trying to jaunt them out and trying to be slippery, oh. moving around as much as he can. Can he at least get a kill on the no Yes, he can, and now Thompson's back. So Thompson gets into the fight. There's the tornado as well as the EMP. Out of out of Toby, he's in some trouble. The Sunstrike comes in. It's a little bit too far, but Toby will still die. Somehow, Mid one survives with a second life, and they've taken out two. OG start to turn this. Spectral Dagger thrown at Shad. So he needs to try and get out of this, but Thompson's right here. Oh, they... And yes, Viking played the fight really well, but it's going to get more and more difficult now as the game goes on. Oh, yeah. They, they smoke up. They got to try and make Radiant something happen. And they'll attack. find Saxo, who stops the Ooh. TP. Oh! A little four staff action. They won't keep him alive, but it's. Radiant's nice. Top tower under attack. But here come OG, they're gonna try and turn this thing. You know that they don't have the line, but they're gonna try oh, and go the other oh, way with this. They go after Solar, but it's only gonna be a doom out of one of these heroes. They get three the stun, Inkswell well. follows it up. That's gonna be on the three of these heroes. They look over at no till there's the Omni Slash mid one. He's now all by himself. So Omni Slash bouncing around. He's got himself the haunt once again. He jumps over to Aramis. He goes for the clock, the hook shot lands. Chaos Meteor down, but it's not gonna be enough. They look to get mid one. He's low, as well as Seb, who continuing forward. He doesn't have the BKB or Doom to work with. They Skewer away one. from Seb, but they've got the Inferno Blade. They've got the Control. Can they get the kill? Yes, they can. Six times free down into the drain as mid one falls. They'll continue for more. Thompson into the Ghost. Only do they, like, then not have the line in the fight because he dies just before. But Seb can't do anything the whole fight duration because he's doomed. So, like, mid one, even though he's really tanky and difficult to kill, it's effectively a three versus five fight. And Seb's going to get hooked down here. 
Like I said, I'm in trouble with the spear vessel on him. There's the uh, Shiva's being used. I think I called it Scotty before. But, uh, yeah, this time it's Shiva's, and this time it's a kill on a Sep. So, he grabs themselves a kill onto this Magnus, but they end up pretty much. They do see him under a sentry here, but. They've got the hex, and now they've got the stun. They'll hit the Get finger, him. and they blow him up. So, Haunt moving forward, Soulbind on a 2, they're gonna buy back on Boom, but the Soulbind's already been used, so they've got the Hoja coming from around as well as the Cogs, Abyssal Blade on the both these heroes! There's the Infernal Blade, the Doom comes in, they look over top, and they've got the Blade Fury right on, but there is Set with the RP! Can they get the kill on either Shatter or Boom? Boom for the second time, he pops that PKB, he looks over at mid one, he's using that Infernal Blade, they get the kill on Ramus, but they lose Topson! Topson dead for mid one's seconds, really he's got low. buyback, mid one low, running away from Boom, but they've got the Hex coming in from Sox, so that might save him! As well as the Stun Boom walking, but he can't find him! Oh Just my god, they get out. out. Seb ends up dead, but if that was Seb and mid one going. BKB duration, but. Maybe he feels like the dispersion talent's not worth it because it's going to be taken off him a lot of the time anyway. Hookshot. Hookshot comes through, that hits on a Seb, but they've got the hex from Saxa. <gasps> Skewer back onto the Doom. Doom's in trouble. RP comes through we've as well. The BKB BKB. They've got themselves the Cataclysm. The Cataclysm hits on Aramis as well as Boom. They're going to lose the first life onto the Doom. Now they'll look over to Shad moving in. But the so far away from position. mid one. And now where is Boom? He's away from his team. His team is nowhere close to help him. And they will get the second kill on to Boom. He is gone for two minutes. And again, Viking. I think just a little bit of an unfortunate timing there, or maybe right. something. Like, so they're just holding the high ground and holding the vision control here. Spectral dagger thrown out. Otis Orb on a mid one. Boom backs off for just a second, but no tail coming over. The Venom Scale is thrown in. There's the blink as well as the War Stomp coming in on to this undying. No tail pops oh, immediately. The but they've got themselves the sun as well as the Cataclysm coming through. And there's the finger. Boom in trouble. Pops the BKB. Surviving for now. The hook shot misses. Omni Slash bouncing around. They get the kill on a boom. As well as Toby. They don't have buyback. Omni Slash will run out. And now this is Shad in trouble. There's the start coming in from Soxa who's on the high ground. They look over at this junk. They look over at the cockroach. They'll try to chase him down. The blade free as well as the TP. No tornado. Oh, what a tornado. They'll get the kill on a Shad. They'll take out Ramis and Solari. Everybody goes down on Viking. And OG may have just secured the game because they sure as hell just jumped up for so long. But 41 minutes in, it seems like they've broken the bank here for OG. Yeah, and they can just... Oh, hang on, hook shot. Hook shot, dust, hogs, a missile blade, and socks a low. Four staff away, and even with the spirit vessel, they just can't get the kill. The BKB's been popped by mid one. They'll use the Doom out invoker. onto the invoker. They'll get the kill onto Soxus, so they'll take out one. But there's the haunt jumping back towards Shad. Shad in trouble trying to run. Aramis is dead. Mid one can't get the kill onto Shad, but he looks over at Toby and Stan and will clean the life of the Venom Master there for him. No tails gone for 94 seconds. They look over at Boom. They'll pull him in. They'll get the kill. They'll take him out. It's a double kill for mid one. The Blade Fury right on him. There's the Cataclysm coming through. Shad, you're gone. You're dead. And so are the chances of Viking taking this game OG will take game one um, OG. this was such a sick game though like I, I feel really bad for Viking because there was like they did so well for most of this game and then they made two huge mistakes right like one of them wasn't even their fault necessarily like the doom, doom blinks in when he has the um, Aegis onto like the already skewering mag which is really sad and then two yeah. they like make that one really bad smoke play where there's a ward in their base that they don't deward. And it kind of like just cost them those two single mistakes cost them the game.